If you're new to the channel, my name is Ryan, and I'm on a mission to visit all the countries in Europe. I'm currently on my way to Czech Republic, or Czechia. Czech Republic is another landlocked country in Central Europe and is bordered by Austria, Germany, Poland, and Slovakia. Welcome to Prague, the capital city of Czech Republic. I'm still with Sander. <laughs> um, we got here last night and yeah, we just started to explore today. The weather has not been great so far, but um, I'm hoping that the sun will show up eventually later today. Latensky Sadi. I think that's how you say it. <laughs> so we're just gonna walk from here, we're here at the moment, all the way here, and this overlooks the old town. So it should be good. Oh, wow. yeah, this is a viewpoint. Shame that it's not sunny though. Wow. Oh, wow. Our hotel is somewhere there. And we walk all the way there and then cross the bridge and then, you know, came down and then go up this hill. I still don't know where the old town is. It might be there because that's <laughs> an old looking building and there's one there on top of the hill as well. So we'll find out later. Yeah, I think we're gonna keep walking, see if we could find a better viewpoint where we could see the Charles Bridge. These benches will be filled with beer drink drinkers later, for sure. Because the view is incredible here. That is the view. Well, we're gonna keep walking towards the end of this park and we'll probably come back here when it's sunny and have our beer. <laughs> but yeah, naturally it's, it's raining. That there, second bridge, they're up, that's Charles Bridge, and that's the old town. And yeah, that's, I think that's essentially Prague. <laughs> I'm not sure we're missing anything else, but yeah, let's keep walking in the rain. <laughs> oh yeah, there's another thing here, it's moving. Wait, what is that? Walk, walk. Yeah, that's metronome, so it goes Tick tock, tick tock. Obviously, very slowly. There. Um, yeah, we'll go up. We'll see what it's like up there. Oh yeah. Okay. Uh, I don't know what's the purpose of this. <laughs> but obviously, have flag of Ukraine. And let's see if we could get a much better view of the city from here. Now we're inside the Prague castle. I don't think we're gonna pay to go inside it, but we're in the area. <laughs> oh wow, look at that. It looks really old. Oh wow! This is inside the Prague Castle. So many tourists, obviously like me. <laughs> oh wow! 
now that is a church. I guess whether it's raining or not, tourists will just come in this area. <laughs> it's nice though. There's like a woman slaying the dragon. Look at that, that's quite cool. Oh my god. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> One of the angels is literally licking the foot. <laughs> is it Jesus? I don't know who that is, but that guy there get the short turn of the stick. <laughs> Another church in front of a much bigger church. Yeah, it's funny when you first see a really old church. You get so impressed, you'll be like, wow, wow. But then after like five or six times, you get the synthesizer and be like, yeah, yeah, another church. There's another church like that before, so yeah. It's quite hard to get impressed after the second or third time. But that's just how it is. I oh, love well, this is a cafe, isn't it? Look at that, the ceiling alone, so sick. And then if you go just here, wow, this is a view. Oh wow. We were gonna do a long walk today. Um, there's, I think there's two parks here. We were gonna go to the big one, like walk around it. I think because of the rain, it's just not enjoyable, you know, walking. So we, we've abandoned that plan and I think we're going to try to find something to do indoors, like either a museum or maybe another escape room. Yeah, I'll do that. If not, then I don't know, I'll just go in a pub and have a drink. <laughs> For now, we're going to have cakes. Look, I'm having a black forest cake and a lemonade. We're just heading back to our hotel or maybe to a cafe somewhere inside because the rain is just not it's just not fun to walk in the rain. I would probably feel very differently about this place if it wasn't raining. It's just raining so it's got a very different vibe. So we've decided to do an escape room. That's what we're going to do for the rest of the day. But we've got about two hours before the game starts. So we are in a cafe just killing two hours. <laughs> coffee and uh, another cake why not it's time to play escape room <laughs> just around the corner an escape room is a game in which players are locked inside a room and they would need to discover clues and solve puzzles to accomplish a specific goal in a limited amount of time which is usually around an hour we've just finished probably the creepiest um, escape room we've ever done ever at one point, like, you know, the hair on the back of my neck was just, it's just starting to stand up. Ooh, so creepy. But um, the weather is starting to be really good. Mm. So I don't know what we're doing now. We end up in a sky bar having a few cocktails while enjoying the sunset. Not too shabby for a first day in Prague. The weather in Prague has not been great the past few days. It's either too cold or windy or raining. But it's quite sunny today. I think up to 12 o'clock, so we're taking this short window of time to roam around the city. It's 
So we're walking on Charles Bridge and as you expect, millions of tourists. <laughs> This is the center square. And obviously, as you can, you can tell, yeah. it's tourists, 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 tourists. It's getting me, of course. Well, you might wonder what's in there. There's so many people. That's the astronomical club. And we're off the main street. How do you know? Behind me, there's no one. <laughs> I think we're going down there, just off the most expensive street. Oh, it's dark. So we've come to this pub that looks so medieval. We tried visiting the main square in the old town yesterday but there was just so many people that it's hard to enjoy it. So I decided to wake up really early today, hoping that there won't be any people there. <laughs> this is the main square of the old town. And as you can see, there's hardly anyone here. I had to wake up really early for this though. <laughs> oh, it's, it's only six o'clock in the morning. I think it pays off. And that behind me is the most famous astronomical clock in the world. I think once the, you can see the pointer, that sunny bit, if that's pointing on the blue bit, that means that it's daytime. And if it's pointing on the red bit, that means that it's dusk. And if it's pointing on the black bit, that means that it's nighttime. I don't know if you can also see, but just there, there are names on that blue thing. And wherever that's pointing to, like that bit there, that's, that's the name day of those people. Prague's astronomical clock is the world's oldest working clock of its kind. It was installed in 1410. It's a completely different vibe without, you know, many people surrounding it. You get to enjoy it properly. It's so nice. So yeah, I guess this is the main square. I think we're gonna go to the Charles Bridge next because um, that was mobbed yesterday. That there is Charles IV. Uh, the bridge was named after him. I guess this bridge is quite popular for newlyweds. Just behind me, you can see two two pairs. <laughs> They're still wearing their um, 
wedding dress. There are so many statues here in the bridge. I don't know how many there are, but um, one of the most famous is that one. You can see some of the bits are shinier than the rest. And the story is, if you touch those and then wish something, it will come true. So let's do that. Now all you need to do is keep our fingers crossed. <laughs> The statue behind me is a turning head. It's meant to turn once an hour. But I'm not sure if it's too early or I may have just missed it completely. But, um, but yeah, I would classify this as quirky. <laughs> the famous rotating head of Franz Kafka was built by David Cerny in 2014. I've just checked Google Maps and it's saying that this is Wenceslau Square. I imagine this is one of the main squares here. It is actually quite nice to walk around while the city is still asleep or still waking up. There's hardly anyone. It's nice. I think I'm lost. <laughs> I have no idea where I am. And also, I don't want to check them out. Yeah, I kind of enjoy it, just walking around in you know, small streets. The buildings are just so beautiful. It's like on a different level. <laughs> After a few hours of walking, I went back to the hotel to take a quick nap and ended the day at a brewery. Cheers! We're doing a hike tomorrow, so I will see you there. Kita kids, or as you say in Prague, Brezze se ovidemi, Brezze se ovidemi.